Hey, we're back at the excavations for the Pool of Siloam and it's clear some of the work that we saw about a month, month and a half ago has proceeded now to the the hand-to-hand -hand combat, the sifting through all the rock and the dirt looking for evidence of Pool of Siloam. They're not finding what they hope to find, the entire outline of the Pool of Siloam, and that could be uh, given over to several factors. And one of the factors could have been war. Somebody destroyed this important water cistern, this important ritual washing place. Could have been simple erosion as people left the city and didn't take care of the pool because we are at the bottom of a hill. Most likely explanation is people use these very good stones to build the next level of homes in Jerusalem. It is a big surprise that we didn't find the rest of the Pool of Siloam yet. And uh, we expected it to, uh, to be built as we see on this side over here. Unfortunately, as they went down everywhere over here around, they didn't find the continuance of the uh, pool over here. And that's why right now they started to do some excavations very near to the part we have to see whether some of it is still down here. And uh, over there, we know it's not there. Over there, uh, they went all the way down. They went all around, so the, the pool is not there. Maybe somebody took the stones in one of the uh, times along the history. We don't know exactly, but that's what we think, that those are nice stones. And uh, people probably took the stones in order to reuse it somewhere else. But maybe at least this part over here, the close to the part we have, we still have. So right now they're doing the excavations in order to find out whether at least this part is still here. Despite the fact that they haven't found what we hoped we would find, um, this in no way negates the fact that this is the Pool of Siloam, does it? No, oh, this is for sure the Pool of Siloam. Yeah, the, the street is uh, coming over here. We just have been to the street. We know the street is coming to here. And therefore, that has to be the Pool of Siloam from the second temple time. Work is going to go on here for a couple of years, maybe longer. Uh, there's no telling what we're going to find, but there's no doubt this is indeed the Pool of Siloam. I wish we could find the entire outline of the pool like it was a swimming pool so we could better visualize what Jesus had seen, what uh, the blind man saw when his eyes were open. Jesus sent him here to wash the mud off of his eyes. But nevertheless, this is still one of the most exciting sights in all of Jerusalem, in all of Israel, frankly, in all of the biblical world. The Pool of Siloam coming back to life in Jerusalem.